The Triathlon Australia New South Wales Club Championships happened this weekend in Orange in New South Wales and it was awesome. But not everything went to plan. Watch on to find out more. Hey, how's it going? I'm Will from Iron Will Multisport Australia, your place to find tips, tricks and experience in triathlon, multisport and endurance events and training. Triathlon Australia is sort of the governing body for triathlons here in Australia. They set the rules, they set the standards, they help run the events. As part of signing up for an event, you'll need to have membership with Triathlon Australia. And as part of signing up for Triathlon Australia, you can sign up as part of a club. I've done a video about clubs in the past. I'll leave a link to that in the ribbon, whichever side it is. There are hundreds of clubs across Australia that you can choose from. The benefits of a club are that you can you know, train with a club and uh, receive support from that club and enter the club championships as a part of a club and help earn points for them. And the club points are quite an important part. So across Australia, all the different clubs can accumulate points throughout the year. This helps them with their sort of rankings of how good each club is. But also, I believe there are incentives from uh, Triathlon Australia for the clubs based on how many points they get throughout the year. So points are typically earned by people doing races. Uh, so you earn a certain amount of points for being in a race and completing that race and also for placing within that race. And so there begs the question, if you've got a massive club and a tiny club, so one club with maybe thousands of members and one club with maybe only five members, how can those two clubs sort of compete with each other? And that is where divisions come in. So there are three divisions based on the size of the clubs so that people can kind of understand their ranking within that club size division. The club that I'm a part of is Balance and UTS Triathlon Club. We are in Division 1, so the main division, the big division. This is, if you can win that division, you're doing awesomely. Unfortunately, we have probably the smallest amount, or one of the smallest amount of members within that division. So we've only got about 200 members, whereas some other clubs have 600, 800, maybe 1,000 members. We are at a little bit of a disadvantage for not having as many members, but we still give it all of the effort that we have. So there are club championships held in Australia. The ones this weekend were from the New South Wales Club Championships. So it pulled all of the clubs from New South Wales and encouraged them to join and compete to earn points for the club. And the points earned from the club championships were doubled. So there's a lot of incentive for clubs to get as many people to come to these championships as possible so that they can really bring up their points tally for the year. The club championships this year were held at Orange in New South Wales. It's about a four hour drive west of Sydney. It's a nice morning in Orange. It's meant to be about 24 degrees or so today. So should be a decent day. Orange is quite a nice town. Nice little area. There's a nice pub we went to last night. Had a couple of beers, relax. Luckily the race isn't until 12.30 I kick off today, so it's a very late race, which is quite nice. I can sleep in a little bit, go get breakfast. And typically the club championships when they're held at Orange include a one kilometer swim, a 30K bike ride, and a 10 kilometer run. And if you're not off the full distance, you can do the half distance, which is half of the full distance um, or thereabouts. And that earns just a single point per entry. So your standard amount of points for your club. As part of entering, of course, there is always a little bit of merch or something that you get as part of it. So for this one, we got this nice hoodie jumper thing. It's really light. So yeah, it's just, it's a quite a nice jacket or jumper. I really like it. I always love getting merch for events. And also, I don't know if it was intentional. Uh, so my surname is Bond, like as in 007. And guess what number I got? Number seven, or 007. I don't know if I, that was just a coincidence and I actually got that number, or if perhaps someone who was doing the numbers thought, huh, as I mentioned at the start of the video, the race wasn't without something going wrong. So in country New South Wales, and especially out near Orange, there has been a drought recently. That has affected the water levels, in, especially in the creek or reservoir or whatever it was that we were gonna be swimming in, which made them dip and they filled back up a bit, but it was unfortunately full of blue-green algae. 
which meant that it wasn't really safe to swim it. And so with the swim removed, they had to put something else in its place. So the race, instead of being a triathlon, became a duathlon. It started with a four kilometer run, a 30 kilometer bike ride, and then an eight kilometer run. And this is the first time I've ever done a duathlon, so that was a learning experience. It seems to be fairly common that when a triathlon is held inland, especially here in Australia, um, and in bodies of water that aren't moving, that blue-green algae affects the swim and the swim gets cancelled. Like similar sort of thing happened in Canberra recently. So next year the Triathlon New South Wales Club Championships will, I believe, be moved to Foster, which is on the coast and that means that the swim should definitely be included next year in 2020 if you want to join for that one. Will you be doing Triathlon Club Championships in 2020? Let us know in the comments below. So since it's the club championships, this is where clubs can kind of show off to all the other clubs in New South Wales, the clubs sometimes have their own merchandise that they give out as part of being in the club championships and helping represent that club. So UTS, and Balancing UTS, which is the triathlon club that I'm a part of, gave us a little merchandise pack, including this quite interesting shirt. It's kind of a holiday-y type themed shirt that sort of Christmas sweater style. Looking at photos of the club, it was really nice to see a sea of light blue, which is our club color of choice. We also got a keyring bottle opener and a stubby holder in the same style as the shirt. And so within Balance and UTS Tri Club, we had our own little competition. So we had a handicap system based on how well we've done in previous races, how well we've done in training, that sort of thing. And that was applied to us for this year for the club championships. Of course, having a handicap system typically benefits those who haven't either sort of raced with the club that much in the past and haven't trained that much with the club in the past. If you've been doing your own secret training and you don't have a history that we could build handicaps on, then you may be given a very good handicap and as such sneak to the top. And this is exactly what happened. The person who came first, Lucas, he hadn't done many events with the club in the past so there wasn't much to build on him. He was given a massive handicap but he got a really fast time in itself. Because I had done a few events in the past and I had done some training with the club, my handicap was mildly decent and their expected time of me was pretty close to where I was. And as such, I finished about middle of the pack. Of course, another thing that threw out those handicaps was the change from being a triathlon to a duathlon. That meant that people who were strong swimmers had to have their handicaps changed and people who were strong runners typically went better than those who were stronger swimmers. But it's all just in a bit of fun anyway. And after the event, we had a sort of celebration post club championships presentation at the Orange X Services Club. This is where they crowned the winner of each division and the winner of the age categories, that sort of thing. It was a really nice little event to go to, uh, to be able to meet up with all the different clubs and socialize and have a couple of drinks, have a bit of a dance. I know that our group from Balance and UTS Tri Club went on after that and stayed out quite late that night. Active recovery on the dance floor. As I mentioned earlier, Balance and UTS Tri Club is part of Division 1, which is the club with the larger amount of group members. And unfortunately, since UTS Balance has a smaller amount of club members in Division 1, we don't really have that much of an advantage in that division. As such, we came, I think it was sixth out of seven clubs in that division. Oh well, hey, at least we didn't come last. The club that came first was Hills Tri Club, and they have, I think it's up to the thousands of members. They have so many members, and loads of their members entered as well. So where we could do a little bit better next year, I believe, in order to get our rankings up a little higher, is to have more people that enter in different age categories. So in the kids divisions, maybe, and also in the older divisions. The more people we have that place within their divisions, the more points we actually get as a club overall as well. So as I mentioned earlier, the swim was removed, which meant it was a duathlon. This was a 4K run. So it's two loops of a 2K circuit, including a nice little hill. And then we did a 30 kilometer ride, which was two loops of a 15 kilometer circuit. 
that 15 kilometer circuit went mostly up, then back, and then we did that twice, so another up and then back. Then we got off the bike and did an 8k run. This was the same run circuit as the first run, but we did four loops. And I found the incline in the run, especially on like the second and third lap, got really hard. But you still know that you need to push. On the fourth lap, it did seem a little bit easier. I think it was that adrenaline, that sort of, this is the final lap, I can go a little bit harder. And overall, I found it to be quite a fun course. So at the Club Champs now, there's the UTS balance tent in the background there. I think I'm pretty well prepared for today. I haven't done much in the way of specific training, but I should be okay. That was harder than I thought. I got under two hours, so 156 or thereabouts, so pretty happy with that. Gosh, that was hard. As I was thinking, the hardest part was going from the run to the bike. That was a lot harder than you think, especially if you haven't practiced that. So personally, I really enjoyed the course, and I think I did quite well. I was aiming, given the adapted course, for under two hours, and I managed to get one hour 56 and 27 seconds. And this was a bit of a testing ground for me, for my lead up to the full Ironman in May. It's a much shorter distance, so it's quite different. And I wasn't really training that much for these sort of distances. So it was kind of a, a fitness test for me to see how am I going just in general. And I do think I'm doing pretty well in my training. I found myself that I was able to push. I felt that I was going quite fast. Uh, for the runs, I averaged 4.06 pace for the first 4K run and then about a 4.30 pace for the second 8K run. But where I think I need to work on for myself, where I don't really probably put enough time into, is the cycling. I wasn't as fast as I would have liked to have been, and even though it was only 30 kilometers, so I really need to push that a lot in my lead up to the Ironman. So that's what's next for me. What's next for you? Let us know in the comments section down below. To have a look at why you might be faster on race day, I'll leave a link up here. If you want triathlon content every week from here in Australia and New Zealand, then hit that like and subscribe button, and I will see you in the next one. Cheerio.